What up with X, Jason Debbie, Morning X, time for Morning X. Headlines, we misinterpret the news so you don't have to. Headlines brought to you by Ascension Healthcare. Punk rock physicist tweets to Jason and Deb says, The bass and drums are easily the, easy, easily, parallelogram. the bass and drums are easily the most important part of a band. But yeah, it's fun to mock them. Check out this analogy. I just thought of this. This is my best thing since uh, the sperm whale callback. You go to the movies. And, uh, it's going to be terrible. The, the, the actors and the director and the writer, you are watching the work of the, the singer and the guitarist, okay? The, the drummer and bassist, they're the projector. They're the screen, all right? You can't have the movie without them, but okay, great, all right? That's, that's a good- Bad that's, take. That's a good-ass analogy. Bad take. What I did there. That's good. Bad take. If you watched uh, Saturday Night Live from last weekend, from this previous yeah. weekend with Jack White, mm-hmm. that very integral. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Tell me about your your favorite bass or drum part from the. Uh, from that drummer was awesome when he came fo- came came forward with the drums facing the different I got, way. I got a real problem with your. Uh, with I kind of liked it. Poke your, point, point your drums the right way. He man. also yeah, he held his stick weird, like right, he was like right he was in the drum drum band thing at school, whatever that's called, mm. drum line. Oh, weird. But, Weird stick holding, huh? But right. uh, stick I, shamer canceled. I appreciated that that drummer and that that bassist. Although obviously right. Jack White was the star right. of that whole performance, it was effing awesome. Uh, more on Saturday Night Live in a sec, but I just got to ruin another video real quick. Uh, Why? It, it, well, I don't like playing to the camera, but since I already ruined one video he today, did. He apparently did. we don't have. First of all. Uh, oh, Nick, here we Nick go. was the one who told me that the, the, the delay, the dump, would still show up on the video. That's why I double dumped on the last one. No supposed also, to double dump. I don't. When, when did this become the rule or the protocol? Also, I don't buy what you say, Dylan, about how you can handle one dump, but you can't handle two dumps. I don't believe you. Okay, hey, Dylan. I don't believe you. Do you see, I think, see I think, how aggressive think, he is on camera? I think you don't want it. And then when you came in the studio work. a little while ago, he just went. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's because it's not my job to tell him. It's puss. not my job to tell him when yeah, I know I he's lying. I hope Dylan is just making okay. like putting some right. weird filter right. on you right yeah, now. Yeah, Dylan, like, put, like, put that like weird baby. filter on him. I'll, I'll double yes. dump right yeah, now. Put the uh-huh. baby filter I'll on him. I'll double dump right like now. Like they did on we'll Saturday Night Live. We'll see what our third string uh, d- d- attempt at a video is today. I should have uh, said this, but you've dumped enough today. Oh, all right. But here, in the spirit of ruining videos and playing to the cameras, uh, Nick just told me for video purposes that I needed to clean up my nose. Oh, yeah. And I did not do so. So, here, I don't Ew. know. Do you guys see anything? Is there a problem up in there? Oh, Jason. Is there no. You need to get a <laughs> facial. There's something wrong with your nose. What's wrong with my nose? Get it cleaned out. There's something wrong? That's disgusting. There's something I'm wrong so with my sorry. Nose? This is not good radio. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm embarrassed right. for you now, because of that. Now, down to business. Uh, from Nick's news desk, I had this yesterday, Ugh. but I wanted us to all watch it before we discussed it. Some people are saying this past episode of Saturday Night Live is offensive, and I will say, I agree. Nobody plays the drums like that. Put your drums <laughs> parallel to the ground, okay? I thought Thank it was you. fun. The end. That was a fun thing he did there. I uh, enjoyed it. The Jack White. I haven't seen Jack White live for ages. I've seen Raconteurs. I've seen White Stripes. Yeah. I've seen that other one that he does. What's the other one? The uh, that other, other? The Weatherman? Dead, no. dead weather. Dead weather. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Love it. I've seen all of those live. Oh, just can't get enough joke. What I've seen. I saw him playing that little record thing at Frank's outside mm-hmm. South by Southwest one time. It was in this yeah. little booth. It was just yeah. crazy little thing. It's amazing. I could watch him all day, every day. I've missed you, Jack White. Where have you been? Ball and a Biscuit is one of my favorite White Stripe songs ever, which he did. So this was he was like an emergency fill-in because that one dude. Because the country dude. Was, 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 is he a country dude? Yeah. Mor- Morgan, whoever's country? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I guess that, he was in Tuscaloosa. That makes more sense mm-hmm. now. Just when he was partying with the co-eds and uh, swat, co-eds. passing a bottle of whiskey oh, around, I, I was thinking that was... That was more Co-ed. my profiler now. That seemed more seemed more hip hoppy to me. But okay, all right. He is a country artist. Okay, fine, sure. Uh, anyway, yeah, he was like a last minute film because I was like, why are you playing this song from fifteen years ago? Maybe twenty years ago. Uh, and then he did a like Van Halen tribute. I type didn't thing. watch the second one. It was fine. It was I, fine. I, I honestly I turned it off because uh, that's the first time I've done that on SNL. Okay, I'll just say from the very beginning, I'm quite nervous about how this segment is going to go. But now Deb is going to explain why Bill Burr is the worst, and then I'm going to say, uh-uh. oh, I didn't find him that bad. And then you're going to say, oh, of course you wouldn't. All right. I love Bill Burr. 
Let's stop he with that. He once accused me of having weasel DNA. You do. Right, now I'm trying to have your back, Bill Burr. Yeah, I think he's very funny. We've had him on the show. He was great. I've, I've liked everything I've seen him in, I think. But when he, What's the problem? His cold open, or his, his, his stand up in the open. Monologue. Yeah, the monologue. Well, it was stand up, basically. Yeah, he yeah. had a mic and he was doing, he was doing stand up. It wasn't funny. It was not funny. The I woman think that no, that was not funny. All right, here, here, I'll play you this. Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression Jason's laughing and this. stuck themselves at the front of the line. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. My leg was so hard eh, with my SUV and my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. And you think that's funny? Yes, I do. And you think where he continued to go with this was funny? What's the problem? Basically, he's saying that white women just sit around and live off the white blokes' jocks and take their money and are happy to be trophies and do nothings. I thought it was pretty... I it thought, was I thought he made it. absolutely insulting and ridiculous. Women of all colors have been held down by the patriarchy since the beginning of time. I think... It, sure, okay? Sure? Listen, if, you, if you're if you going to wow. have an Olympics of oppression, white women, you don't make the podium, okay? And so I thought that was a, a, a fine, interesting take on it. White women? That's Why? Right. Because we're white? We're still women. Sure. Okay. Okay. So you're you're not as privileged as white men, but his 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 point is still. It's not a good point. It's fun. It I, is not. I enjoyed it. It is not a good take at all, and neither were the other takes in this either. You guys stood by us, toxic white males, through centuries of our crimes against humanity. On, on, on our own. You rolled volition. around in the blood, muddy. And occasionally, when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, Ooh. if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah! That's, that's funny. what you did! That's funny, that's Jason. That's what you did! So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to him. Look, I, that was, a, that that's was funny real too. close up All to the that? line. But yeah, that, I mean, you, did that not happen? Is that not a real thing that's that's gone on? In my life, no. Okay. Uh, right, do right, some people do that? Sure. Right, right, do some right. people happily stand by toxic males? Sure. Do most women want to be around a toxic male? No. That is disgustingly insulting. Is it possible? As that... a straight white man, you're like, yeah, women been riding off okay, my job okay, for years. Okay. I didn't. No, I didn't say that. But is it possible that you, a white woman, had a joke made at your expense, and now? You're little. Make fun of me if you like, but that is just insulting. Saying we stand by toxic masculinity, that is d- d- disgusting, degrading, and insulting. I mean, th- I remember there was an election in Alabama, and I forget who it was, but it was that old judge dude who. Uh, uh, I'm like hot under the collar after this. That's what I said. I, yeah. I was very nervous about this. That's... And I mean, and th- I remember reading articles, and it, they were they were imploring the white women of Alabama to not vote for these Republicans, and because they they do do that. Now, we can you say that they are are coerced because they're they're in a situation where they have to you know do that? Maybe, but I think that that this is a real issue of having white women vote Republicans and voting for people who are against abortion. And going along with these things. And it's not all just because, you know, like a lot, I think a lot of them are true believers of this. Women who vote f- against women's rights are the worst. I will absolutely agree with you on that. But there are patriarchal societies set up in this world, in this country. Amy Comey, Comey Barrett, or whatever her name is, is one. She is part of one of these religious institutions that says the men sit at the head of the household and tell the women mm-hmm. what to do. Maybe these women have been institutionalized by it. I don't know. Do they have Stockholm Syndrome? I don't know. Let's rescue them. But to be lumped in with that is hugely insulting to me. Valerie tweets at Jason and Deb, says, Deb, if the shoe doesn't fit, you shouldn't be mad. I think it's hilarious. I did not think it was hilarious. I, oh. Nemesis Kayla says, Deb, got his, me wrong. his take is accurate. White women did stand by their white males. White women have it the second easiest in the United States. White men, of course, being first. Yeah, I'll give you that. And uh, Punk Rock Physicist says, I saw a commentary on the monologue that while Bill Burr wasn't necessarily wrong with his kind of racial class and gender commentary, it wasn't his place whatsoever as a white man to say it. Now, see, my problem with this is that Bill Burr is is one of the biggest anti cancel culture guys, and yeah, I'm like, he started yeah, off the yeah, the, the yeah, monologue, yeah, and so, about so that. 
I think that those jokes are funny. Um, I had more issues with his gay pride month joke because he yeah. starts off that one by, do I hear it? I have it. It's, it's just, not, it, you know, his whole take on every, all this is, is old white boomer. Like it's, so, yeah. it, I, I don't get it because I've never got that shtick from him before. But like even two of the it, other sketches is, later on, this is, is he just playing classic into this? Bill Burr, this is what Bill Burr does. Right. I guess I didn't get him yeah. before. And yeah, he is a, you know, he's a honky white boy. He's been making honky white boy jokes forever. That's what he does. The honky white boy beer ad thing was funny. Well, okay. Also, you, so I guess you, you didn't like the the mafia sketch? I liked it. He's but, playing a character. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's an actor. But it, but it also it just seems too close to to real for some reason. Maybe it's just because after I saw the monologue, I thought the mafia sketch thing was really funny. Yeah. How they were like, right. dude, you've been away for twenty years. The things have changed. But yeah. Bill Burr gets out of the the big house or whatever, and he sees that his whole crew is all woke now. What happened to this game? We used to own this city. I go away twenty years, and all of a sudden now there's friggin' Mexicans controlling the neighborhood. Um, okay. What? What, I say something wrong? Uh, no disrespect on Paulie. Uh, we all get your point. I just think it's a little weird that you made it so, I don't know, racial. Yes, thank you, one person. All right, not the funniest part of the thing, but yeah, I thought, look, it was one of my favorite episodes of SNL. I've seen God, it a lot. God, it was one of my least favorites. You guys heard? I've seen every episode of SNL the last two decades. Well, I thought there was a lot of stuff on, on cancel culture, which I uh, I don't want to go full bur- bull, bull burr on you. <laughs> bull beer. <laughs> what? Yeah, we got a little too far on things, all right? And we, you know what? He wasn't even involved in the, I like the, uh, the uh, Sports Beck Center Bennett. one. No, oh, well, that was fine, too. That was very good. Uh, the, what does he say? Enough is enough? Yeah. The guy who's a, a small-time actor who records a video about the president. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, look, I don't want to, I don't want I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. Legitimately, not anybody in here. <laughs> well, maybe somebody in here. But so much of this, of, of, hey, look out how, look how woke I am, is in pursuit of likes, okay? Is in pursuit of retweets. And that's what that sketch was about. And I was like, yeah, that's good. That's good. Saturday Night Live saying, hey, we've gone too far with this. We've taken it too far. Yeah, that, right? that, that sketch We're was here good. to make jokes. We want to just make jokes. And that's what Bill Burr, he's like, I'm just going to make some jokes about here- my white women out there. What's up, white women? You want a good laugh? Here's one, here's one about you. Look, the, the, there, there this is- This is the face of a woman not laughing. <laughs> that- Slow blink. Slow blink. Mm-hmm. Not ah, laughing. You're doing that Maya, Maya Rudolph thing. Maya Rudolph thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Women yeah. will know that what was I'm great. saying. And I hate- I still hate that they're giving all the important parts to people who are not on the show. Who cares? Enjoy it. It's fine. They're, you're going to run out of stars. Also, what's going on? What, what is the protocols here? Because Kate McKinnon, after the first episode, was barely in it. She's all over the place now. Weekend update sketch. That was brilliant. That was funny. We noticed. Uh, is A.D. Bryant still on the show? I, I saw her. Yeah. She was in a farewell. She's not in a single sketch. What are we doing here? Look, sometimes people have scheduling conflicts. Sometimes it's just not material. She didn't have any good sketches uh, this week. She didn't bring anything good to the table, so they didn't have anything for her. Maybe she wrote a great works. sketch but wasn't in it. Maybe if there was a book that would explain the history of Saturday Night Live, you could read. <laughs> yeah. That would probably cover a lot I of this. That. I read that book. My I, problem that's how the, I know it's a mistake yeah. to be handing out all these important roles to people who are not on the show. you got to build your next set of stars with Lauren. Get at me, Lauren. God, Jason. I'll the fix expert. your show up. Okay? Jason, the expert on everything. But I won't. I won't fix anything, Bill Burr. I did like. I, uh, I don't like Jim Carrey being on the show. I, it's weird. Weird. I can't. He's not doing s- Fire Marshal Bill. Yes, I can't not see Fire Marshal Bill when he does Bill. Bill. That's, that's what he's doing. B- uh, uh, Joe Biden. Yeah. It's weird to me. Um, but I did, I did like. The like whole... I did like his impression of Jeff Goldblum. Yes. That was yes. amazing. Yes. That was the best impression of Jeff Goldblum <laughs> I've ever seen in and everything Herman that he does. Coming back as a fly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I love Keenan. Yeah. Like, I'll take Keenan any day of the week. But yeah, that was that was funny. That Michael was funny. Shea also had some really good jokes in the week update that I was like, Oh, Michael nice. Shea? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he yeah, he was good. But my problem with Bill Burr, I think that what Weasel he was DNA. saying, definitely. Sure, I think that what he was saying, he has some valid points that it's okay to talk about, but he's coming at it from just this cancel culture. I'm a comedian. I say controversial things. Now everybody's mad at me. Mm-hmm. And that's just like, like, sorry. Like, if you can't figure out how to do comedy in 2020, you're a bad comedian. That's like, a good point. There are so many people that are doing good stuff. Dave Chappelle this is... has, has, has had issues All with right. the trans community. And he has incorporated and he's figured out a way to keep doing it and not get canceled. If you just want to sit there and do, you know, a stupid Boston D-bag, you know, homophobic slurs and things. I'm trying to say anything. 
like well, he didn't do any of those things. I know, but just like, but like, like that's well, he did say one of them. He that did mafia in the sketch. mafia thing. But like, but it, he's it, an actor. Yeah, but did he write it? Because that's what is reflecting okay. his views, no, Jason. No, he didn't write it. I almost Do promise you, know? you. I almost promise you. I will promise bet you. Me? I'll bet you that he I didn't write it. I love this almost promise. Okay, I, w- I, I would like to wager with you that he didn't write that. That that was a sketch that was pitched to him. Doesn't matter. But the point, point is, because, because that, that's that's clearly a Bill Burr sketch. They're clearly doing this because this is yes, the stuff he sure. wants to do. He's in the process yes. of the workshop. And You're this saying is all from he's his acting. This is, this is still him. He's like, I want to. Is Edward Norton the worst dude for American History X? All right? Is he the worst guy ever? No, this is different, Jason. No, but Mel Gibson is is for his stupid cop rant. That was in reality. Okay, stop. Okay, fine. This is it. He's you playing win a character. on Bill Burr as an actor. Can no. I finish a goddamn point? Yes, you are in the in the business of being woke for likes. Go ahead, please continue. Oh, stop it! He is not woke for uh, likes. No, no. He's just a good person. Sorry go, that that. Go ahead, good person. Go Sorry that you, when you look ahead. at him, you is, don't see a good person in yourself. With saying that, show us how much better you are than the rest up. of us. Come on, yeah, come Jason. On. Oh no, Jesus There's a man Christ! Down. Very ugly to say. Shut up, Nick. Let him finish. You know, it's Stop it. Okay. I'll come over there and mute your mic. Yeah, mute it yourself. Go on, Nick. First of all, I don't see a problem with sitting there saying, like, let's be cognizant of the uh, of the people's feelings and emotions and just being empathetic, just being a decent person. Now, that doesn't also mean, like, like I said, I enjoy, I thought his monologue was funny. I, I I think that it's it's okay. But the fact that he is coming from it from this whole cancel culture is bad, I can't support that philosophy. Like, the people that are just like, oh, oh, snowflakes, oh, babies, oh, wusses, rub some dirt on it. Like, no, like, mm-hmm. you can, like Deb says, women have been disenfranchised. For, like, I, I agree kind of like, like it started woke, it was like, oh, Black Lives Matters, don't, you know, police violence and all that stuff. And then it kind of shifted to women, and then it shifted to, you know, there was a. a well, me too was before gays. Black Lives Matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, there's no, <clears throat> who came first? It, yeah. Did somebody step forward? It doesn't matter. Like, let's just all. Make sure that nobody is disenfranchised. You know, like, like Kanye says, "Let's take care of our brothers." I don't think he said it quite like that. But. Was that the moral of this segment? Well, this is, Kanye's got Let's it go all back figured to it Kanye. out. <laughs> anyway, yeah. you're a jerk. So is Bill Burr. You guys deserve each Just other. Just want to point out at the end of this segment, <laughs> the white men are the worst. Absolute. Yes. Very worst that's ever Wait, been. Straight in the white of men are the worst. Oh yeah, yeah. straight and white men. And particularly gay white men who are pretending to be straight. Yeah. And Wait, who? What? Yeah, yeah. Like the guys living on the DL who are married, and then uh, they're Republicans, and they're saying, "Hey, gay right. is wrong." Stop opening and then up they're, cans of worms when I'm trying to close cans their, of worms. Then they're banging their AIDS. <laughs> oh. Those ones. Assistants. Yes. <laughs> was like, AIDS, why do you got to bring that into it? What is that guy? All right, now that I got Nick all riled up, let's come back and have him tell us uh, what a great time we had in Dallas. Right, oh Nick? Oh, my God. Is this oh. video over? Yeah, yeah, come on, man. You are, you are the worst. You're such a, golly, you can't play along. This guy is just absolutely cannot oh, play along. That was so good.